Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Jayco J-Flight SLX 242BH. This is a bunk model with rear double over double bunks and a slide out U-Dinette which really helps to open up this main living space. We start off on the campsite kitchen. You will see that they have a seamless countertop. It's a thermal foil countertop. It gives the look of a solid surface and allows you to undermount the sink. Double equal bowl sink, high rise faucet. Over to the side, three burner cooktop. This one has the glass cover so you can use that as prep space. You simply fold it back just like so to get to those burners and the front one is high output. The knobs light up there and underneath is an oven. Underneath the sink, you have enough space for a trash can. And over to the side, you have two full extension ball bearing drawers. Now, Jayco claims that they have 75 pound weight capacity on there. They've done the testing. I don't know that I'd put 75 pounds in it, but they say it can be done. Right over to the side there, rather up front, you will see you have some additional storage. On the walls, your electrical outlet, also tank monitoring panel is located here. Note that the water heater does run off both propane and electric, and you can turn both those on at the same time for faster recovery. You have storage right up top, microwave, hood right underneath that, and then the Norcold fridge freezer combo. Now this one does have the thermostat on the front, and again, this one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. In the very back are those two double over double bunks. Great thing about Jayco is they have some of the strongest bunks in the industry. 600 pound weight capacity on their double bunks, which is pretty darn impressive. Up top, you have dual USB ports. Right down below, you have an electrical outlet. I'll sneak in here just to kind of show you size. So if my head is all the way at the top here, you can see I still have space down by my feet, which is pretty impressive. That's, uh, again, you know, for a double over double bunk, to have that weight capacity, have that space, it's not just for kids. If you have adult guests, friends, family that want to come stay the night, you have a space for them to sleep. And then right next to the bunks is the rear bath. So take a seat here in the foot flush lever toilet. As you can see, plenty of leg room, good shoulder space, no trouble here whatsoever. Uh, it is a plastic bowl, not a porcelain, but again, it's because it's a little more weight sensitive in this unit. You'll see your toilet paper holder right over to the side, sink top and vanity, enough room underneath for a trash can, which I like. Electrical outlet, your uh, hand towel ring, and then the shower is quite large. If you take a look at the size of this shower back here, you can certainly appreciate that. Plenty of space to be able to move around. You won't be getting attacked by the curtain as you're showering. And for height, I'm six foot tall. You can see there's plenty of room here, even more so with that skylight. You can probably be 6'3 and still shower in here without having to bend down. Coming out a little ways, you'll see right outside of the bathroom, you have this additional storage. Now, Personally, I wish they would have put a hanging rod up top, so that way you had some wardrobe storage for the kids' clothes. Uh, but either way, it is you know, some large compartments, so you can kind of utilize those uh, however you want. You will see the thermostat located there. That, of course, controls your ducted AC as well as your ducted heat. And as I mentioned when we started the video, in the slide out is the U-Dinette. So with the U-Dinette, a lot of people are under the misconception that you can sit more people here, and that's not really true. You can sit four people just like you can a standard dinette, but where the U dinette is really handy is for sleeping space because when you drop this table down into a bed, you can definitely sleep one adult here. If they're okay snuggling up, you can probably sleep two adults here. You also see electrical outlet located there in case you need to plug in any electronics and then a nice big window lets in a ton of natural light. Underneath the dinette, you will see storage as well. You can see that right there. It's also worth noting that whoever stays the night in here will be nice and cozy. Uh, you can't really see it, but underneath the slide out, you have a double sided reflective foil that will help uh, insulate that slide out floor. So that way you'll be a little bit more comfortable no matter what the climate is. Right here, you will see your entertainment area. So your TV will be located there. HDMI cable plugs right into the back that is hooked up to this multimedia center, which is also a DVD player. It is Bluetooth capable, controls the speakers in here and outside. And then you'll see the storage both on the bottom as well as right up top. If we sneak into the bedroom up front, you'll notice the queen bed in the center. When we take a look underneath, let me lift that up for you. 
So it is strut supported, big storage underneath there. It does share access with the uh, storage in the pass-through. So a couple different access points for that storage area. And on both sides of the bed, you have different storage there too. So on the one side, you'll see you have shelves. This side over here, you have a hanging rod. And then connecting the two, uh, you have another shelf. You can see the accent lighting up top, couple lights there underneath. Nightstands on both sides, and you have electrical outlets in case you need to plug in like a CPAP or a cell phone, whatever it may be. You have slider doors there for privacy, and you can see you already have a mount for the TV, so that way you don't have to worry about where to mount it. The connections for that, of course, are right up top. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Jayco J-Flight SLX 242BH. Up front, you have two 20-pound propane tank switchovers located right back here. You'll also see rails there for your battery, and right down underneath is solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it'll trickle charge your battery. While we're down here, it's also worth talking about the frame. So the A-frame on a Jayco is actually integrated into the rest of the frame, which is a big deal. A lot of manufacturers will take that A-frame and they'll weld it underneath the rest of the frame, but doing it this way is stronger, provides more durability, and there's less chance for buckling, meaning you're getting a safer tow while traveling down the road. Up above that is diamond plating, helping protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And when we come around to the side, open up that pass-through, and as I mentioned, we were inside. This does share that same access area, that same storage area uh, as underneath the bed. Large power awning on here. You'll see that it does have speakers in the head of the awning, so that way when the awning is fully extended, the music plays down on your campsite. Also, LED light there, and you can have that LED light on no matter what position you have the awning in. You have the More Ride Step Above step system, which is a great step system, very sturdy. You don't get that springboard effect over time like you will with the traditional pullout. Also, aluminum treads, which aren't going to rust. A little bit of grip tape there for some added traction. Smaller grab handle. I wish they would have, you know, put on a larger fold, uh, foldable one, so just so you have a little more control when going into the camper. But having something is better than nothing at all. Making our way back a little bit further, you will see if you want a TV, you have an electrical outlet here, cable satellite outlet. This is the same mount that you have in the bedroom. So what you can actually do is take your bedroom TV, slap it right in here, and that way you don't have to bring an extra TV with you for uh, outside. If you plan on going somewhere you don't have city water, you want to make sure to fill the fresh water tank and that'll be the place to do it. And when we drop down, you will see that this camper has your Dexter Easy Lube axles. That's easier on maintenance, you don't have to repack your bearings all the time. And also it has the never adjust brakes. That's one of the maintenance things a lot of people forget about. They forget to adjust the brakes and with this camper you can forget about it. It does it all for you. Also underneath there, uh, kind of tough to see, but one of the things Jayco does as well with the frame is they have full outriggers, and so every about four to six uh, feet they have an outrigger where a lot of manufacturers are eight feet. So again, uh, you know, excellent structure they have underneath. And you have a fully enclosed and insulated underbelly helping to keep out a lot of that road grime as well as some rodents in the off season and keep things warmer in the cold season too. When we lift this up, clip this guy up real quick. You can take a look in here, you see storage up top, you have the handle, this guy just pulls right out like so. You have the sink over on one side, two burner cooktop on the other, and then on the other side is your fridge. Oh, I would have opened it the other way, but that's okay. This gives you a spot for your condiments as well as your beverages. Uh, you know, that's probably my favorite part about having the outside kitchen is the outside refrigerator. And as you'd expect, there is a propane quick connect underneath for that cooktop. But if you want to hook up your favorite grill, by all means, you can do that too. Just make sure you take the regulator off the grill because it's already regulated at the tanks and you don't want to double, double regulate it. Right here in the back, you'll see a square tubular bumper with end caps, giving you a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Mounted to that is your spare tire with a cover, meaning that it's very easy to get to and it'll stay in good shape. You'll also see your 30 amp power cord right here. Just pop that open, plug it in, and you have shore power. Backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, the prep makes it easy to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. And you have the rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto Jayco's fully walkable roof. 
Speaking of the roof, Jayco has the Magnum Truss roof system, which is an excellent construction method. They screw everything down instead of using staples, have larger nail plates. They have big, thick wood risers instead of just aluminum strapping. Then you have a 3 8 inch decking up top, so that way you can fully walk on that roof. On top of that decking, they use a Diflex 2 material, which is a fleeceless TPO. It has all the great benefits of a rubber roof, like flexibility, longevity, but it doesn't have a lot of the downsides, like you don't have near as much black streaking and it doesn't require as much maintenance. It is a wonderful roofing system. Right around to the side, you will see the cable TV and satellite input, outside shower with hot and cold water access here, city water inlet underneath that, and lastly, right down below, folks, you have your termination with both your black and gray tank valves. Little windy out, you see that cap is disconnected, kind of swinging like a pendulum. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Jayco J-Flight SLX 242BH. If you're interested in this bunk model and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.